Welcome. We will start with very basic question. What is the primary objective of ICH guidelines in the pharmaceutical industry? The primary objective of the ICH guidelines in the pharmaceutical industry is to harmonize and standardize global regulatory requirements, ensuring the quality, safety and efficacy of pharmaceutical products and facilitating their development, registration and approval across different regions and countries. What is correct full form of ICH? Correct full form of ICH is International Council for Harmonization of Technical Requirements for Pharmaceuticals for Human Use. Here in ICH, C stands for Council. How are ICH guidelines developed and updated? ICH guidelines are developed and updated through a collaborative process involving experts from regulatory authorities and the pharmaceutical industry. Next question, what are the main regions involved in the ICH collaboration? The main regions involved in the ICH collaboration are European Union, the United States, Japan, Canada and Switzerland. What is the significance of ICH Q1A and ICH Q1B guidelines in stability testing? The ICH Q1A and Q1B guidelines provide standardized approaches for stability testing. Q1A outlines general principles while Q1B specifically addresses photostability testing. These guidelines ensure that pharmaceutical products remain safe and effective throughout their shelf life helping to protect public health. As per ICH guideline, how many key principles are for good clinical practices that is GCP? There are 13 key principles of good clinical practices that is GCP all are mentioned here you can refer those for your reference purpose. What is the purpose of ICH Q2 guidelines regarding analytical method validation? The purpose of ICH Q2 guidelines regarding analytical method validation is to establish the reliability, accuracy and suitability of analytical methods used to assess the quality and safety of pharmaceutical products ensuring that these methods produce consistent and meaningful results throughout the product's life cycle. Explain the key concepts in ICH Q3 guidelines related to impurities in pharmaceuticals. The key concepts in ICH Q3 guidelines related to impurities in pharmaceuticals include defining impurities, setting limits for specified and unspecified impurities, and ensuring their safety evaluation and control throughout drug development and manufacturing. This one is very important and very frequently asked question. Question is, what are the key steps of risk assessment according to ICH Q9? There are five key steps for risk assessment according to ICH Q9. These are first risk identification, second risk analysis, third risk evaluation, fourth risk control and fifth risk review. How can ICH guidelines be applied to the management of post approval changes in pharmaceutical products as outlined in ICH Q12? Companies can use the principles of ICH Q12 to streamline regulatory submissions and approvals for post approval changes, ultimately benefiting the pharmaceutical products life cycle management. What are the major categories of ICH guidelines and what do they cover? First category is quality guidelines, they come under Q series. Second safety guidelines, they come under S yes series. Third efficacy guidelines come under E series and final last one is multidisciplinary guidelines that come under M series. What are the different climatic zones as per ICH guideline? As per ICH Q1A R2, stability testing of new drug substances and products, there are four climatic zones. You can refer below table for different stability zones, their climatic classification and example of regions that come under that specific stability zone. How do ICH Q12 guidelines promote the life cycle management of pharmaceutical products? ICH guidelines are used alongside or with the 21 CFR guidelines to promote global harmonization, streamline drug development and 
facilitate international collaboration in the pharmaceutical industry. What is the role of ICH E6 guidelines in the conduct of clinical trials for pharmaceutical products? The ICH E6 guidelines provide a framework for good clinical practices that is GCP in the conduct of clinical trials. They ensure the ethical and scientific quality of trials, data integrity and the protection of participants ultimately supporting the reliability of clinical trial results. This one is very basic question what are the key differences between ICH guidelines and national regulatory requirements. The key differences between ICH guidelines and national regulatory requirements are that ICH guidelines aim to harmonize global standards while national requirements may vary by country. Which tragedy lead to formation of ICH guidelines? The thalidomide tragedy in the 1950s and early 1960s played a significant role in shaping the need for international cooperation in pharmaceutical regulation. Thalidomide was a drug prescribed for morning sickness in pregnant women but caused severe birth defects in thousands of children. What is the significance of the QBD that is quality by design concept in ICH guidelines? The quality by design or QBD concept in ICH guidelines emphasizes or focuses a systematic and science based approach to pharmaceutical development. It's significant because it encourages proactive quality control, optimizing manufacturing processes and ensuring the quality, safety and efficacy of pharmaceutical products. What is the role of ICH guidelines in ensuring the quality and integrity of pharmaceutical data and documentation? The role of ICH guidelines in ensuring the quality and integrity of pharmaceutical data and documentation is to provide standardized science-based principles for data generation, management and reporting. Next question, list down all ICH guidelines in Q-series. Here all the ICH guidelines title along with their number are given. You can use this information for your reference purpose. Last but very important question, which countries are part of ICH and plays key role in ICH? Here are the top 10 countries that are part of ICH that is International Council for Hormonization and plays key role. These are European Union, United States, Japan, Canada, Switzerland, Norway, Iceland, Liechtenstein, Singapore and South Korea. Comment if you like the information, subscribe to channel for more videos related to our pharmaceutical industry.